Okay, the Church of Nativity Anglican Communion Parkview Ikui is celebrating 20 years as a church community. And this anniversary lecture and book launch is part of activities to celebrate this milestone. Take a look. 20 years ago, the Church of Nativity Parkview Ikoi Lagos started off as a family church with a few members to cater to the spiritual needs of residents of Parkview Estate and environs. Two decades later, congregants celebrate how far they have come and this lecture and book launch is part of activities to mark this milestone. At this lecture, a personality is drawn from different sectors joining the church to celebrate. The topic, Christian ethics in nation building, couldn't have come at a better time when the country prepares to go to the polls. Former Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Mr. Okechuku Enelama, was the guest lecturer. So I believe that the fundamental problem we face in Nigeria is a crisis of leadership. You know, and Christian ethics will deal with it. Christian ethics is what is needed. Like I told you, that's the solution. That's the therapy. The question is that we are the church. What are we doing? I wish we'll rise from here and say, guys, we're going to apply this therapy. It's like a doctor gives a, 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 a treatment. And then the patient doesn't apply it. When I used to be in medicine, they used to, there's something called illness behavior. And at the heart of illness behavior is this issue of compliance. Patients don't always comply with the treatment. And you have to really get into that, including using counseling and other things. Because at times, if the patient is not taking the treatment, you don't know what the problem is. Whether he's not responding to treatment or whether there is no treatment. You know, may God help us to apply the treatment in Jesus' mighty name. The church has come a long way from its humble beginnings to its current state of growth. The spiritual and humanitarian growth has all been documented in a book titled The Anglican Church of Nativity Parkview Estate, 20 Years of Bearing Fruits. Reviewer, who is the Nigerian ambassador to the Philippines, Ambassador Folake Miyakinleye, was there when it all started 20 years ago. As a foundation member of this church, I am a living witness to the inspired contemporary slant it's, it's adopted from day one. I guess lessons have been learned from Anglican conservatism that drove many to Pentecostalism in the first instance. The Anglican Church of the Nativity was literally a new kid on the block. On page 20 of the book, it was written, with the Church of the Nativity's growth, 
the need to better structure or expand in an effective manner rose. One of the first steps towards structuring the new church was constituting a parish church council, but it was not a conventional one. The vicar was not a conventional vicar, nor the church of the nativity a conventional Anglican church. And the 212-page book chronicles the growth of the church and its achievements and, uh, in two decades. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all. You may return to your seats now. It's very, very important because um, we started as a very modest church, and the church has grown in leaps and bounds. So we wanted to just come together and thank God for what he has done for these past 20 years. Because the church has grown. It's grown as a family church. It's grown as a church that has given us a strong foundation as families to find out in the world and just support uh, the gospel. It's, it's just an amazing story. Uh, it's the story of God's faithfulness in man's life once you can trust him and once you live in obedience to him as well. Uh, the story is so replete with miracles, we can't even begin to tell it all, which was why we decided to document it. But how we got the land, to how we got the people, to how we got everything going, uh, such that you can see what is here, but most importantly, how we've been able to win people in the path of righteousness. That for me is the key thing, it's, a, it's, it's saving people. We want to thank God for His grace and mercies, and we have to say that it's by the grace of God. Um, God is the owner of times and seasons, and uh, He has made us to be here at this time, and we must thank God for those who have been here before us, and especially the first vicar of, uh, of this church, especially Paul Muku. We thank God for that foundation. The scripture says if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? So we, we want to thank God for his life and those members you know, at that time. It's a spiritual church. I want to thank God for what he's doing. You know, uh, within these 20 years, he has done a lot and we are indeed very grateful to him. The Church of the Nativity was founded in 2003 in line with the vision of the Dean Emeritus Church of Nigeria, the Most Reverend Dr. Ephraim Adibola Adimowo. The first vicar was the Right Reverend Precious Omuku, now Bishop of South Sudan and Sudan. The pioneer members include Dr. Eddie and Dr. Ada Wikina, Sir Wale and Mrs. Tinu Okunfulire, Mr. George and Mrs. Efi Etomi, Sir Jasper and Lady Lizzie Wachuku, Dr. Chingere and Mrs. Victoria Ekiocha, Mrs. Margaret Yabo Durand, Mr. Samuel Akins, an ambassador for Lakemi Akinleye. They have indeed come a long way. Congratulations to the parishioners and vicar of the church.